because sometimes we're not fortunate enough to go ahead and talk about making it out of that situation, right? Anything can happen. So let's say if the play by chance does go right and you did what you needed to do, what's the escape route? Yeah. Episode 10, Organic Wednesday. This is take three. Had to clear some storage out the phone, but we're here. Hopefully this goes well. So hopefully, as usual, your week has been fire. If not, halfway point. Got the opportunity to change it. Hopefully your weekend was dope. Hopefully the week before that was fire. Me personally, uh, we've been on the grind. It's been catching up a little bit mentally and just kind of putting yourself through that everyday consistent thing. It could it could definitely deteriorate deteriorate you. So just been telling myself, you know, keep going. It's gonna pay off. Just keep putting that work in. And I'm blessed to have a partner, you know, who's a beautiful person. She's she's definitely kept my spirits up. So that's what's been going on with me. Whole, other than that, just a whole bunch of grinding, a whole bunch of work behind the scenes with the music. So this week, we're going to go ahead and uh, start it off like this. RP to P&B Rock. It's a shame what happened to him. You know, uh, that's why it's important to go ahead and keep your location secret until you move to another location. So that way nobody plotting on you. But either way, it's just an unfortunate situation, man. So RP to him, for sure, for sure. With that being said, this week's topic will be you cannot mix street politics into the industry. Now, that's period, but especially the music industry. Now, why so? When you're doing these activities or you're a part of these activities or when you know people who are a part of these activities and the situation hasn't handled itself yet. It's still an open situation. You're making everything hot. And you might not be meaning to make everything hot. And you just think that it's another avenue that you could get bread off of. You know, with the music industry about telling you the truth in, these, in this music and these songs. But because you're still actively involved in this situation. And the people around you, your crew, they still doing their thing. Now... Oh, they know what to expect. You know, the boys don't got to do too much work, especially with the Internet these days, because there's people in the world who don't like you and who don't want to see you succeed. So when you get when you give them the opportunity to capitalize on this moment of putting you down by telling or, you know, putting you in a situation to set you up, you ain't got nobody else but yourself to blame because you shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. Now, people who resort to doing that, it's survival. I get it, right? You feel like there ain't no other opportunity, and this is this was there. But the thing is, you're not supposed to be comfortable doing that. You're supposed to do it, get what you need to get up, and then leave it alone. Leave it alone and build on it. You got to make a play. You get the bread, and then you make a play. What's going to be your play after you do what you're doing? Because sometimes we're not fortunate enough to go ahead and talk about making it out of that situation, right? Anything can happen. So let's say if the play by chance does go right and you did what you needed to do, what's the escape route? I try to tell my cousin that. And unfortunately, his escape route ended up being something that wasn't favorable to what he might have thought about at the time. So... You got to have that escape plan if you're involved in that. Because when you allow that to go ahead and transfer into your industry career, then that's when you have RICO cases and situations happening. You know, for instance, I even hate to say it, but it's, it's the facts. You look at Fetty Wap, you look at Young Thug, both dope people, as far as what I heard of. Both take care of a lot of people, both are just genuine people. But because of a situation where it's presumed that they're involved in the, in the activity. Now it all goes away. All that hard work, everything is on hold and it sucks because you look at these people, these are dope people, but you got to know when to distance yourself. You look at people who have done it well, like Jay-Z, you know, at, at a certain biggie, God rest his soul. You look at those guys who managed to get away from that. They actually had fire careers and they didn't have to worry about it. But they also had the respect because they actually took those risks. And when you take those risks, you don't got to prove anything else. 
all that keeping up with you don't have to prove anything else all that keeping up with the joneses as far as you ain't put in no work you ain't do this you ain't do that that's out the window you did your time that wasn't the plan that wasn't your goal your goal wasn't to be you know the the most gangstest person in the world nah it was just to survive and get to where you need to go use it as a tool but you know that's one thing man you can't you can't lose yourself in that world when you got dreams and you got goals because it's a, it's the trap they call it the trap for a reason right nobody nobody wanted to be a trap boy or be a d-boy their whole life nah it was a tool to further your generation after you and to further what you got going on so that's it for this week man i ain't gonna go too crazy just remember to stay the course stick to the plan man don't get caught up it's real easy to to have that happen and when it seems hard when it seems like you know ain't no light just keep going it's right there you just can't see it yet so that's what i would have to say this week man other than that hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the week love you guys appreciate you guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you like the content i'll see you guys next week all right